Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm really excited to show you how to create a mega menu in Divi. So we're not going to need any plugins. This comes by default with Divi and it's kind of a secret. So I'm going to show you how to really um, activate that in your WordPress navigation menu. And we're going to show you how to style it, you know, how to, you know, style the top level links there in the sub menu and, and add columns and all the items underneath there, and how to style those things. So be sure to watch all the way to the end because we're going to be working through a demo. All right, let's get started. So I guess to start, one of the first things we should talk about is like what a mega menu is. And it's kind of just how it sounds. It's like an expanded menu and you're going to want to use this if you have a lot of options and you might have like nested sub pages or things like that on your site. And an another way I like to think of it is as, um, in fact, based on the structure too of the code, it's like, think of it as multiple sub menus that we can kind of stack side by side and things like that. So I don't know if you've noticed this on our website, but um, pacreative.com, we have a mega menu under our website services. So you can kind of see what, you know, maybe just a quick here example of what the, what a mega menu is. And you can see how I have, you know, design solutions and conversion strategy and our hosting plans, things like that as like options under the mega menu. But then under those, there's more options. So it almost in a way, you know, you could kind of look at that. Oh, there's like four sub menus under one item here. Uh, and then notice how I've styled the top one differently than the other ones. We're going to talk about that. So that's kind of what a mega menu is and what it's used for. I think right now there's like four third party plugins in the Divi community. Um, and you know, I'm not saying not to get them, but I'm just trying to tell you, you know, you can do this with Divi. It's built in. So, uh, let's get started. And we're going to actually be building through the one I did in um, over on the blog post, you can find that link down below if you're watching this on YouTube. So let's get started. I'm going to go over to my example website and we're going to actually just start creating a new menu and we're going to just call this mega menu. So create a navigation menu here. And then what we're going to do is show you how to apply that in the menu module on our example page. So I'm actually going to just start adding custom links. Now, you're going to want to put in your actual menu items. <laughs> of course, I'm just doing a demo. So you could put in all kinds of things. If you have a WooCommerce shop, you could put in products. You could put in your, your blog posts and some blog categories, whatever you want to do. Um, for me, I'm just going to go through here quick and add some stuff. And then, um, you know, we'll see how that looks in a normal environment. So I'm just going to make one and call it Mega Menu. And that's going to be like the, the top... Um, the top menu item member here in on my site here. So like this item here, there's a bunch of different menu items here. And these like this here has a regular drop down menu, right? And this one has a mega menu. So I'm calling it mega menu thinking like this one. And then um, let's just make a couple other ones. Um, add a couple items to your menu. Um, I'm going to I'm going to just say, you know, simple stuff here but that's because I'm making examples so then once you have a couple start adding some sub menu items so I'm gonna just I'm actually I'm not sure why but I'm using like the term columns so I'm just gonna say column one through four here and then let's put them you know underneath the mega menu. So the reason I use column, you'll find out in uh, just a minute. So let's save our menu, right? That something like that. And of course, don't follow me exactly, but make it your own and things like that. But um, let's get something similar to that where we have like a sub menu. And then I'm going to show you what happens when we put this in the front end. All right, so I have a, a menu module here on my page, and I've selected mega menu as my navigation menu. So that's great. I just want to see how this looks when, you know, I've just sort of started setting up my mega menu. In fact, it's not a mega menu yet at all. It's just a regular menu. Let's just, I want to review that with you real, really quick. 
Okay, so you can see how it works. This is very standard. Um, and it, it, you, now you're wondering, why did I say column one, two, three, four? That's because I want to put these in columns. So now we're going to go back and add our secret um, trick. So let's go back into where our menu is. Now we need to do something if it's not already done. Up here in the top right corner of like your WordPress dashboard, anywhere in your admin area, there's this thing called screen options. So this is a brilliant tool here. This, this is so helpful. Like you could you can check like projects, products. Do you see what just happened? Products and projects got added there. Uh, maybe, yeah, like project tags, product categories. See, these become options that we can add to our menu. Um, we're not really looking for that, but here, here's even WooCommerce endpoints, like meaning um, orders, downloads, address, you know, things in your account. Anyway, so you can do all that, but what we want here is actually CSS classes. So let's make sure, yeah, I'll just show you. There's nothing here except the URL and the navigation label. But as soon as I put on CSS classes, it adds that right here. It adds it to all the menu items, okay? But what I want to point out is we need to add a, a class here that's going to activate the Divi Mega menu. And again, this comes with Divi by default. This is not an extra plugin or code or anything. This is the default Mega menu, and we're just turning it on. So the one I have Mega menu, which is the the parent menu item here. Let's go into that one and just type in mega menu. Kind of simple, easy to remember, mega dash menu. All right, and let's save that. Now you remember how our sub menu look. Let's take a look now the one we save it. Okay, there you go, there's the columns. All right, so we've, just by adding that class to this top menu item here where we we called it mega menu that created all of these into columns okay so now let's get back and start building out our mega menu from the navigation area and again i'm going to be adding some custom links you can throw in whatever you want here so i've added a lot but after all this is um mega menu so i wanted to point out i'm putting sub menu items under under here under the columns so it may be a little confusing at first you may think well shouldn't they be um you know like underneath like just like this but see that doesn't really make sense because they end up all being on the same level so just need to indent them another time so you actually have, you know, your mega menu, which is in the in the top navigation. And then this, these will line up the same. But in order to to get this mega menu working correctly, you do have to have um, the one on top and then the others indented for these to work as a unit. And, and it, I know that can be confusing, but once you see it, you'll understand. So go ahead and add all of the menu items that you want. And, you know, you don't have to add them all. We can keep going here. Um, and then I'm going to show you here on the front end how it looks with this structure. Okay, there we have it all set up. Let's go ahead and save and go take a look. Okay, so there you can see that it put those items under the column. Now the top one here you can see has a little bit of a line. I know it's hard to see. And some of these do behave differently. The the ones I have labeled submenu items, they actually have that background hover, you know, the thing that I, you know, really, really love, <laughs> sarcasm. Um, but the the top one has like this little line underneath it, and it doesn't have that hover effect. So think of these as like this is a submenu, this is a submenu, this is a submenu, this is a submenu. So um, I'm gonna keep probably saying this later. But I have a tutorial on the submenu, and it's so related, it's just that mega menu class changes it and makes it a little different. So now we need to style and customize this thing because right now it's kind of boring. So you can do some of this by just going into your module. Now, if you're using the default header, you know, you're gonna need to use all CSS. But if you are using the module, 
let's take a look at some of the settings. So the settings for the mega menu, the drop down mega menu are going to be the same ones as in here for um, just says drop down menu. So let's, you know, let's say we wanted to make the drop down menu background color this green. Um, there you go. So you can you can do a couple things in here and the line color. So we could change that um, text color. Then we might make it white so it stands out, something like that. Um, yeah, that's it. So that's that's really all we have. Like at the time of this recording, that's all we have. So let's go back to our tutorial and start looking at some of the CSS that we can do. And it's going to be very, very similar to our last tutorial on the, on the sub menu. So you're going to want to definitely, definitely check out that tutorial because in fact, at the end, you're going to see why, but right now we need to go in here and I have a snippet here and it's targeting this, the, the overall sub menu. So let's copy that and we're going to be using that and just show you a couple of examples. We're just going to walk through them. And this type of tutorial is what people were telling me they really like, where I'm actually showing you how to do this rather than just say, here, paste this in and you get this style. So hopefully you guys do like this. So there's a couple things we can do with this overall sub menu. Um, I, you know, let's add a border. So we, we would copy any of these options here that I have. And here where it says your CSS here, paste in that snippet. So actually right now that's not going to show up because we just went in here and did this drop down thing. So let's actually go in here and just reset a couple of these things and then we won't have to worry about it. There we go. So now uh, we've added a border. Okay. We added that green border around our sub menu and I'm sorry in here in the page settings is where I'm working. In the advanced tab, custom CSS, see that I've added the snippet, the main snippet from the tutorial, and then we're we're just adding different things. So like here's one border radius. Let's grab that and put in here, and we can keep our border if we want. So we can just start stacking things in this snippet. So you see that it has a nice rounded border. Okay, you might want to do that and of course change these numbers to whatever in your colors, things like that. Okay, so that's some stuff you can do to the overall. Now, you may have remembered from my website here, PA Creative, that we did the top one differently. And and that's that's cool. That's part of the sub menu. I mean, I'm sorry, that's part of the mega menu. I think that's one of the features that makes it stand out where you can kind of put like headings there. So let's go back again to the blog post and grab another snippet. Okay, so the first row, we're customizing the first row. So this snippet here is targeting the mega menu with the list items in it, but it's only targeting that there's top list items in the sub menu. So wow, let's copy that and let's go in here. And we can just add that on top of where we had our other CSS, um, or, or I, I mean below it, you know, something like that. So again, we need to put our own CSS in here. This, what we have here is just acting as a way to target the, these items. So where it says column one, column two, column three, that's what we're going to target with this snippet. So let's get back here and look for one of our ideas. Oh, so here's one, a border on the bottom that's two pixels thick. That's solid and it's green. Let's try that one. So put that in there. And then we can kind of see, see how that looks. We have a border on the bottom of these top ones. Let's see what else is here. So we might say, oh, you know, we want the background of these to be a different color. And, you know, I'm just giving you examples. And of course, if we do that, well, then we've got to do the color because you know, you've got to make it stand out. See that? That's kind of nice. And we were like, well, if these are headings, maybe we want these to be really big compared to the rest. See how it's bigger now? 
Um, and then we might want it to be bold, really stand out as headings. So these are just ideas of things you can do to this top row. Now you can notice on hover, um, there's that background problem. So um, I've got to add that to the tutorial here just to make sure and note that you use the hover. So back on the blog, there's a couple of other things. One of these is the Divi submenu, a tutorial on that. Well, this this menu this this tutorial kind of ends here because we've we've created our mega menu and we've learned to style it. Remember that I said that these these drop downs here are like sub menus and I really mean that. So you can actually use our sub menu tutorial from here on out to style these list items, how they look on hover, how the padding is. Maybe you want there to be a a border on the bottom of these or a background color or when you when you hover the background color changes and the color changes or you know what I'm saying any of this stuff think of them as sub menus each one of these so so far this tutorial showed you how to style the overall how to set it up how to style the top so that's really all I have for you now so just go ahead and check out the other one and that's going to help you style any of these other items. And I've set it up, this other one I've set up the same way, where I have like, you know, these list items on hover, um, and then the links on regular and hover, and I've, and I've provided examples of things that you're probably going to want to do to style them. The other one is adding images, and we'd want to do this for a couple of reasons. Now, I just got done recently with the tutorial on adding images to the menu, so that's Let's just go take a look at that tutorial. Um, it works separately. You can do this to any of your sub menus, but with a mega menu, it can be really helpful. Let's say you have the heading here, you know how we've had it, column one, but you might want a nice big image above there just to say like what this column's about. And that's where you'd want to just go back to this tutorial. Um, it shows you how to just, you know, you copy this code here that we have for you. And then you kind of do a similar thing. You go find your image and paste it in between um, where it says insert image URL here. So that I have another tutorial and video on that. You can kind of see how it looks with an image in there. So you can definitely do that to your mega menus as well. Okay, so that's how you make a Divi mega menu without plugins. If you guys like that, if you like the process, I was told that people like how um, instead of just throwing a code snippet at you um, and copying and pasting it, it kind of showed you those little, um, you know, the, the snippets that you could use to do different things. Um, if you like that, be sure to give me a thumbs up. That way I'll know that you like that style of tutorial. And um, I have a bunch planned. Let me know what you'd want to see next. And we'll see you guys in the next video.